Okay, hey, uh, I'm John. I used to have a big 3D printer thing, but then I moved, so it's kind of like on the back burner now, but now it's time to actually open up the RigidBot. I'm recording my Google Glass, so pardon the shakiness, to try to keep it still. Uh, the RigidBot was a Kickstarter, uh, maybe a year ago, and it's one of the few that I actually backed that actually have come through. I've been really patient with this, considering uh, I had very much patience when I was running my Kickstarter program as well, but they've done a really good job. I think a guy's name's Michael, and he's gone to China, so he's gone through a lot of uh, R&D and stuff. It's actually, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's actually like cut out just for RigidBot. Cool. Set that aside. And this is supposed to be like, you know, a very solid square frame type of X, Y, and Z 3D printer. And we're just going to do a quick unboxing. So, got the instruction manual. One of the few I've actually seen that come with instruction manuals physically. Many of them have online and it's very like videos that don't even have audio and how to build it. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what we got here. Okay, well, just from looking at it, the top tray here, it looks like we have my upgraded Z rods uh, on each side. And then you have your motors. These look like Nemo 17s. And then, let's see what this is. Put the electronics board, the corner fasteners, connectors. Looks like miscellaneous parts and tools to put it together. Sticker, stickers, to, warning labels to put on it. Power supply. This looks like a hot end. And honestly, a lot I see a lot of this with uh, homemade 3D printers. The hot end is the worst part to put together. On the um, Rip Rep Pro, the one that I was trying to give away, the hot end is so complicated that even I've had a hard time putting it together. And I've built dozens of these things, but that thing I don't even know if, if once I got. I mean, it's the only thing I have to do is get these things Z rods upgraded and then uh, put it back together, but. I don't know if it's going to even work. So hopefully RigidBot has nailed down the extruder part. I don't see it up here. So we got the thermistor. It kind of looks like a thermistor. We have the heating element. I don't see an actual extruder nozzle. I'll go ahead and pull this out. Sit on my handy dandy cardboard desk. Oh wow, look at that. It's got a 3D printer filament. It's good to go. A whole bunch missing down here. Hmm. Weird. Okay, a rod. Not sure. Oh, LCD screen. Good, so we're controlling it, kind of like this one on the Cossel, which I hardly ever use. going on here. I don't know what that is. Okay. All right, and like the frame, some plastic pieces. So it's supposed to be more of a like a MakerBot style 3D printer where the wide bed actually moves uh, and the wide the bed actually moves in the wide direction. I don't really care for it. I really like the Delta style because nothing moves except for the extruder and it, you can move at very high speeds and the part won't wobble. So hopefully this won't have an issue like that being very rigid as it's supposed to be. So it looks like a bunch of parts. Okay, well, I guess I better get to business. So that's all I got for today. See ya.